Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm, I'm good. Welcome to our special edition of our Riverside Expectations this cafeteria is a, style. This is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, it's a really big one. Got to listen. Okay. We're going to make it short and sweet. Um, to the point. Yeah. And we've got a great interview coming up. Yes, we do. We're going to take you through the process of the cafeteria here in a second. Um, but first, we're going to go through how you get points and, and our expectations in the cafeteria. Um, and we're going to start with being respectful. That's all right. So in the cafeteria, you want to make sure you're using a level one voice. Miss Julie, what is a level one voice? It's um, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not silent. That's right. And it's not screaming. That's right. It's 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 Stop. talking. Yeah, it's talking to the person next to you or the person across from you. But the people three seats away should not be able to hear you. No. And and it's not mm -hmm. turning around and talking to the other table. It's dangerous. We're walking in between there. You've got to talk to the people at your table. Stop. Talk please. on a level one. We want Stop, you to talk. Please. Yes. We yes. are big fans of you guys being able to talk in the Let's cafeteria. Socialize and we want to keep it that way, but you've got to use a level one. It, it can't get too loud. That's right. It can't get too or loud. Or we might have to have a few moments of silence right, there. Right, right. Right. Um, another be respectful is, is to say please and thank you. It's so nice to hear that when people say please and thank it you. It really is. And, the, and, and we all work hard in the cafeteria. It's a lot. All of y'all are in there. Same time. There's food. There's drinks. There's, you know, we're running crazy. There's not a lot of adults. Right. It's a lot of kids, so yeah, please so, and thank you goes a long way. Yeah, it does. It's helpful. What about being responsible? How are you responsible in the cafeteria? Okay, so when you go through the line, you need to get your, your fork, your spoon, your ketchup, your ranch, your mustard, whatever it is you want. Right. Your milk, juice, water. Get it when you go through the line because we can't go back in and get that stuff mm -hmm. for you. It's, it's against the rules. It's not the cafeteria lady right rules. it's above it's, the cafeteria right it's their boss of the cafeteria and and how many ketchup packets three okay and if they don't use all their ketchup packets then give them to the lady or person that's in the cafeteria helping you so that if someone forgets we have extra ketchup okay? because they're not allowed to give out any more can't go back in. In the line. Can't go back in. Right. I can't go back in. Nobody can go back in. That's right. We also need to make sure we clean up the area. So, A, don't put your, I mean, ketchup. I mean, spills, accidents happen, right. but try not to make it bigger than it is. And when it's time to leave and your teacher comes and gets you, pick up all your trash. Yeah, put all of your trash with the exception of your unopened utensil, fork. Mm -hmm. And your water bottle and just stick it in the middle we'll come by and get it we're going to recycle we're saving the earth one we're fork being responsible at a time one fork at a time one fork at a time we are being responsible ourselves as a school yes recycle okay safety hands to yourself that's the universal rule everywhere everywhere you everywhere go. don't be hugging i know sometimes ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. what else do you need to do <laughs> oh you need to raise your hand that's right do you go like this um yes no <laughs> That's not a level one voice. Oh. <laughs> uh, just but raise, raise your hand. Raise I, your hand. I can't go higher than this or I disappear. Just raise. You gotta raise your hand. hand. We'll help you. Raise it up higher. We're gonna help you. Yeah. Raise it. Don't get up and run and get no. like a whatever, a fork or a napkin. Raise your hand. We'll help you out. Okay. Um, Make sure you walk. Walk. You have to walk. Walk. We do not need collisions. We're going to spill stuff. You have to walk to your seat. You have to walk in the cafeteria, even if you're going to specials. Or you never back. know if there's been a spill. We you got to walk. We got to be safe. And yes. then sit on your bootay. Sit on your bottom. That's right. Yeah, I mean, it's that's what your bottom's for. And we, you have to stay on your bottom. I know sometimes people are antsy and they start sitting on their knees, but we had an accident that happened last year. Because a student was not sitting on their bottom, a right. teacher got hurt, the student got hurt, it was a big old mess. Right. You gotta sit on your bottom, knees underneath the table, we're walking back and forth trying to help people like get all the things that they need to eat lunch and just sit on your bottom facing the table. All right, well I think we're about to go to our wonderful interview with Miss Doris, but we'll catch you back here in just a second. Okay. Hello, 
I'm Miss Doris. Um, I'm going to show you how to walk through the cafeteria line. You're going to walk through the door. You're going to stop here. Grab your drink. You got milk, water, whatever. Get that. Come around here and grab your fork or your spoon. Get it. And we're going to walk down here. They're going to ask you what you want. You're going to tell them in a voice that they can hear and understand what you want. You want your meat, your vegetable, whatever. You're going to walk down here and grab your tray with your food on it. There's ketchup, barbecue sauce, whatever you might need. Go ahead and grab it. Put it on your tray. You're going to come down through here. You're going to get fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. Pick a choice, whatever you want. And you're going to come all down here to this little keypad. You're going to punch in your number. If you do not know the number, tell me your name. Tell whoever's standing in the register your name, and they can find it for you. Grab your napkin. If you have snack money and want a snack, when snacks are ready in two weeks, they will be here or here. Get your snack. Put it on your tray. Get your tray. Turn around and walk out. What if they forget something? If you forget something, I'm sorry. You should have gotten it when you came through. You cannot come back at this door to disrupt the class. You just keep going. Next time, remember. And I guess that's our quick tour for the lunch line. See you at lunch. Wow. Thank you, Miss Doris. That was awesome. That was great. Thank yeah, you. I hope that like clarifies if you're new Mine here. It's very informative. Yes. Um, and there's one other thing I'd like to say. All right. About the cafeteria. Let you know, know that's my area. That is. Um, when you're walking out of the cafeteria doors, I've got a picture right here. Um, walk around the tables. Like if you're coming out the door, like don't walk through the tables because it gets crowded and clustered like kindergarten's not all here um but we need to we don't need to get in that habit like walking through in between the tables you need to walk around the outside all right that sounds great yeah that's safety, safety well function. we hope you have a great day we do we'll see you in the cafeteria <laughs> okay bye bye